Give me a second, guys. There we go. <sighs> Sorry about that. Give it a second to focus. I'll close my door, so give me a second. Sorry about that. Now we can get into this. I'm gonna just move it up here. There we go. And then, in a world. All right. Welcome to Inner World. I'm not really sure what this game's all about. All I know it was very interesting art style. Very weird and interesting art style. That's what drew me in, as you can see. So, I guess we're we'll starting to see what this is all about, shall we? So, if the music is a bit too loud, let me change that. Okay. I will probably change that settings later. Just for now, that should do. Okay, let's head in, into in the world. New game. Against all likelihood, there exists a universe consisting only of soil. Deep inside lies a vast spherical world. Its people call it Asposia. Air enters this world through the three holy wind fountains. To this day, the origin of the wind is widely disputed, but the fact that it is dying out little by little is undeniable. Without the wind, the light went out. Without the light, the warmth went away. And in the cold darkness, the wind gods came. They have been haunting the Asposians ever since with their petrifying stares. The only wind fountain still blowing is guarded by the Abbot Conroy. He has devoted his life to leading the Asposians through these dark, cold times. Every day, Conroy preaches of austerity and obedience, in hope that the Wind Gods will one day be appeased and the wind will return. He is often observed by his young apprentice, Robert, whom Conroy has raised like a son. Well, not like his own son, of course. for him. Pretty, isn't it? Oh, look what it can do. Conroy says it reminds him of the most beautiful day of his life. Of course, he's never told me what that means. But you know what I think? It has something to do with that. I bet you've seen a lot, hmm? Being a pigeon. You know, I've never been allowed to leave the palace because of my strange holes. I wish I had stripes like everybody else. But look here. I knitted it myself so that no one will be afraid and of me. And if the Basilians oh, turn you uh, to stone, uh, it's your uh, own fault. Oh, these ungrateful worms. I'm only trying to help them. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Robert, my dear boy, play my song. <gasps> oh, Robert, 
How many times do I have to tell you? One note, one beat. Hmm? No! No! What idiot let that thing in here? Uh, don't worry. Pigeon, I trusted you. I'll save your pendant. No, Robert, boy, stay here. Guard, bring me the hedgehog. Oh, uh, hey, oh. I'll catch it. Kitty, kitty, kitty. That thieving pigeon. Would you like to view a over of the game controls? No, oh, I can figure that out. Yeah, okay, show me. <laughs> Hotspot. Click and hold to see which. Oh. Sorry, about to sneeze. No, maybe. Click and hold to see which objects you can interact with. Interaction with objects. Click on an object to examine it or interact with it. Inventory. Touch the bottle of the screen into the see what items you carry with you. Okay. Click on the items to examine it or use it. Okay. So you can or you can combo items by dragging and dropping them. You can also use it items from your inventory with hotspots throughout the world. Or with her. Uh... Why is all the T's like crosses? Dialogue. Click on a conversation topic to talk about it. Okay. Dialogue. Uh, so okay. Subject. Uh, yeah. If you already uh, heard everything about the topic, it will be grayed out. Okay. So there's no more dialogue. Back to the menu. Okay. You can access the tutorial at any time under the settings. Okay. He's digging into the sacred earth. Catch that worm. Slippery little... Oh, it's too fast. Pile of garbage. So that's Conroy's garbage dump? What do we have here? An old vase, a spindle, the right hand of a guy from the city, a scarf that I got him for his birthday. Hmm. That must have ended up here by accident. No, I didn't. Alright. I might turn up the volume. Settings. There we go. I like to have the dialogue very loud. Bottle. There's an old bottle in the garbage. It's filled with fermented not terrine juice. How long has that been lying here for? <laughs> Smells like Tuesday. A year ago. No, that's not good. A phosphos. Conroy hates phosphoses. I like them. They glow. I like light. I can't reach it. Hmm. Conroy's garbage chute. Why does it lead to a residential area? Damn, it's not movable. One can make good use of such chutes. Hmm. Want to pose, sir? I wonder why they search the girl. She looks rather nice. Don't take down the posters. Wind sock. A wind sock blowing in the wind. Huh. 
Oh, great. My own wind sock. Wind socks are awesome. Hmm. Hmm. Not sure why you need it. Uh, okay. Oh, I would recognize that smile anywhere. Conroy. Conroy's head. Rather not. He looks like he's upset with me again. Hmm. Oh, a crutch. Whose crutch is this? There's a crutches? Hmm, I guess I can use these to get the thing. Well, I, if it's just lying here, I guess I can take it. Oh, now the crutch's tip broke off. I hope the crutch's owner doesn't come back. Although I'd be faster anyways. <laughs> Alright, so I think I have to combine these. That's just a random guess, isn't it? No. Don't I have to make a pole? That won't work. Hmm, maybe I can just catch with a windsock? I don't think that will work. Hmm. Wind turbo. Turbine. The wind turbines in this town have become useless ever since the wind left. Hmm. Alright. No, it has to turn by itself. Maybe talk to this guy? Hello, can you help me? That depends on what you need. I don't have garbage. Garbage? Pardon? No, not me. Nobody's stealing garbage here. Especially not me. Well, I'm actually looking for... Do you need garbage? Click on the conversation topic to talk about it. What do you sell here? Well, I don't want to brag, but I have the best garbage in Esposha. You sell stinking garbage? Ah, I see. You're an expert. Since when are you into garbage? I've, um, always thrown it away so far. Well, then don't be shy. Go ahead and look around my little shop. Hmm. Is that an A? This? Do you maybe want to buy a letter? You can have it for a few aspirity. Why would I need one of those? What's your name, kid? Robert. Well, if you'd have an A, you could make it Roberta, for example. Or Robert. The possibilities are endless. No thanks. I have a headache now. <laughs> What's that? This? An exquisite sandwich. It has only been eaten twice before. Um, thanks. I'd rather not. You sure? I also have a half full root milkshake to offer with it. At least I'm pretty sure that it's a milkshake. No thanks. I've somehow lost my appetite. Who knows if I'll ever find it again. <laughs> What's that? It's the best bird feed. I swear, no creature with wings can resist it. Great! That's exactly what I need. Can I have it? For a few aspororo, it's yours. Hmm. Aspo ra ro ri sounds great. What's that? That's the price for the bird feed. I see. And what does that mean? Okay, I get it. You want to negotiate. Do I? What do you think of Asporora? Aspora? Are you trying to insult me? Okay. What do you think of Aspororo? And I'll even throw in this Conroy doll. He who works without a moan, the bazillions won't turn to stone. That's really kind of you, but I really don't need that. Do you have any idea what features this doll has? Conroy's help is good and fine, so be nice and wait in line. You get all that for us, Porora. That's as low as I'll go. But... Okay, Asporo, but really no lower. I have no idea what you're talking about. Can't you just give me the bird feed? 
Okay, Aspiriri is fine. Pardon? Aspiri. Why are you yelling at me? Oh, jeez, okay. I'll give you the feed for asps. Are you happy now? Um, I don't know. <laughs> what? Okay, I'll give you the doll on top of that. Agreed? Just take it. Does this mean I can have the feed and the doll for free? Yes, I told you. How much more do you want to humiliate me? Thank you. You're very nice. And you are the most cunning, cold-hearted as potion I've ever had the displeasure to meet. Oh, I I'm very sorry for that. Well, thank you for the feed. <laughs> I don't think he's happy with me. Hi, Worm. You look thirsty. Hmm. Come here. The party's over. Okay, I got a drunk worm. Why do I need a drunk worm? The bag is tied up with string. I'll untie the knot. Hey, it's empty. What's the matter? Do you want your money back? Well, the bag's a bit... Watch it, pal. I mean, that practical string is exactly what I wanted. Hmm. No, the thread would just come undone. If I tie the end of the windsock with thread... Mm -hmm. Okay, I made a net. I have a great net. Okay. That's just a random guess. It... Hmm. I don't think that will work. Well, I could. Probably use the net now on the bird. It's too high. I won't get the pigeon down there like that. Hmm, maybe use the worm? That's just a random guess, isn't it? No. Hmm, a hole in the ground. Who dug that hole? And why? Where does it lead to? The world out there is full of secrets. Kid, that's a simple wormhole. Oh, okay. Hmm. You don't do that to wormholes. <clears throat> Maybe the cork? I can't do... Well, I could, but I won't. Mm -hmm. Can I get out of you? I have to catch that pigeon. I won't leave without it. Alright. Can I go buy anything else? No, now is no time to fool around. That's just a random guess, isn't it? I can't do that. I can't do that. Hmm. The original Conroy puppet for all his loyal fans. It talks when pressed. He who works without a moan... Give me a second, guys. Because I'm streaming. Yeah, but I need the door closer. I've got the camera open. Uh, I have it like this. Fine. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Alright, ten years. Won't turn to stone. Great! The puppet even has Conroy's voice. Stretchy little guy. He's sleeping it off. What should I use it for? Hmm, got a net, but he doesn't want to use a net for anything. A fine net. What should I catch with it? So, 
I don't know what's my cat doing. I don't want any of those things. Hmm. What am I supposed to do here? Why should I do that? I'll just click on random stuff. No, now is no time to fool around. But I use this net on this. Why should I do that? A phosphos. Conrad. I like them. I like them. I can't reach it. How about you get this? That could be fun. Won't help, though. Hmm. No, now is no time to fool around. Am I missing something? That thieving pigeon. Come here. Birdie, birdie, birdie. Put, put. That won't work. That's just a random guess, isn't it? There's a fish on the windowsill. I wonder how it got up there. That's too high for me. Hmm. It's too high. Chuck the huh, no? That's just a That's just a I have zero clue how what to do you. Well, I could Hmm. That won't work. That's just a random guess, isn't it? Yep. No, no. That's just... Well, I... I have a clue. Yeah, this is what this game's all about. That could be... F that won't... I guess he... Wait, what? What? Why did we make a slingshot at the worm? So, okay. what should I shoot at first? Well, I only hope I won't hurt it. Well, worm, now you're free again. But I'll keep this cork. You can't escape. Hey! <clears throat> what do you think you're doing here, Bozo? I, uh... A little hint? You're about to steal my pigeon. Oh, yes, uh... What? I'm not stealing the pigeon. It stole from Conroy. Otherwise, I wouldn't have uh, stolen... Do you come here often? Whatever. Peck, come here. <gasps> Tell Conroy that from now on, the winds are about to change. It was nice to meet you. Okay, keep calm. What would Conroy do? Oh no, he will kill me. I have to find that pigeon. And the girl too. Especially the girl. If I only knew her name. Laura. Wanted for theft, hostility towards the state of Asposia, assault, chewing gum in public, enraging the Brazilians. She has a beautiful smile. If it's just lying here... It's totally greasy. I can't grab it. Hmm. No, now is no time to... I don't think that... That's just a... Maybe I should have shot the light this one first. Why should I do that? Yeah, maybe I should have shot that one first. Mm, I 
could restart and do that again. That should be fine. This melody, it's familiar somehow. Hello. Hello, young man. I've never seen you here before. I'm new in town. Please. Who comes here voluntarily? Actually, I'm just looking for someone. This song, it reminds me of something. Beautiful, isn't it? My dear mother used to sing it to me. Where did you learn the song you just sang? My mother taught it to me. Where did she learn it? From her mother. Ah. Where did she learn it? From her mother. I see. And where did she learn it? Her mother. It was carried on the wind. Enough now. Have you seen a girl passing by with a pigeon? Her name's Laura. The one from the posters? Yes, she just passed me. I have to find her. What a coincidence. I know where the young lady is hanging around. What? Really? Oh, perfect. You have to tell me. She's been stealing from Conroy. Poor Conroy. I don't even own anything worth stealing since my husband left me. I'm sorry. You don't have to be. He got turned into stone. Oh. Yes. At least you can rely on the Bazillions. You know who she is? I can tell you a thing or two, my boy. But knowledge comes with a price if you catch my drift. Uh-huh. You don't get it, do you? I'm afraid not. I would like to tell you. But worrying about my baby has made me forget everything. If my baby would be warm again, I could probably remember. Your baby's cold, but it looks so happy. Yes, with a smile it can better stand its destiny. Well, the cold, or the hunger, or the despair. Oh, I'm so sorry. How sorry? Uh, what? Well, I get sympathy every day for free. What I really need is something for my baby to wear. Oh, I understand, but now I really have to... Thank you. You're an angel. I had a onesie in mind. A what? A onesie. You know, footed pajamas made from straw bear yarn for my baby to wear. <sighs> but where do I get such a onesie for your baby? If I'd known that, I would have taken care of it myself, believe me. But I have to stay here and protect the few belongings I still have. And the baby, of course. Where should I start looking for something like that? You'll think of something. Oh, it really should be organic straw bear yarn. But isn't that the most expensive material in Asposia? The Wind Monk's fabric? The fabric of nobles? The baby insists on it. Oh, yes. Of course. I guess then... You should start to look for it. Okay, then. A onesie made from straw beer yarn. What's the baby's name? Conroy. Oh, that's great. You named it after the abbot. You never know. Maybe that calms the Bazillions. I think the name suits him. Thanks. It's a girl. Can't you just point in the direction she went? If you can obtain a onesie for my baby, I will bring you there personally. Can't it be any other material? If you want the poor thing to keep freezing, is that what you want? No. Then you better bring me the onesie. Does it really have to be made from organic straw beer yarn? Does it really have to be made from organic straw beer yarn? Excuse me? 
I apologize, but it's hard for me to understand you over the baby's shivering. I still couldn't find a onesie for the baby. What do you want, then? Well, then, goodbye. Okay. If you're ever looking for me, you know where to find me. I won't go home, that's for sure. I see. What about the puppet? The original Conroy puppet for all his loyal fans. It talks when pressed. Mm -hmm. I wonder what he's done to incur the Bazillion's wrath. Better not. I might knock him over. Just remember the incident ten years ago. The scholars still call it Domino Day. Oh god, did he kill a bunch of people? This was either caused by a bazillion attack, or someone built a house without a roof. What's the use of a house without a roof? Oh, the little boy's playing. I used to play... Escape from the palace. Conroy even played with me. I never won. Hi, little guy. Friend or enemy? Uh, friend? Hmm, I guess if you were an enemy, you would let me know. My name is Detza. Gentleman, adventurer, and explorer of everything unknown. Name your request. What kind of map is that? It's a treasure map. It will lead me to the Bazillion's treasure. That sounds awesome. Where is the treasure? It says it's somewhere in the root forest. Oh, in Asposia's most dangerous place? Nobody's ever returned alive from that forest. Yeah, I know. I was there once with a boy from the neighborhood hunting for gorfs. I tied him to a tree. He was never to be seen again. Oh. Yeah, but my mom said he's in a better place now. Jesus. Did he really just tie up a kid? Hmm. Are you sure that this is a treasure map? It looks like a knitting pattern to me. Oh, come on! Do I look like I can't tell a treasure map from a knitting pattern? No, uh, yes. I mean, of course. But I think that... Listen! I will tell you what I've been trying to tell my mom, and the judge, and the uncle who wanted to discuss my dreams with me. If I tell you it's real, then it's real! Oh, I don't think it's real, but sure, let's just go with that as real. Can I have a look at the treasure map? No! I want to find the bazillion's eyes! Is that your Foss Foss? Yes, its name is Foss. I saved it. You did? How so? It was captured on Asposia's highest tower. Isn't Asposia's highest tower the lighthouse that doesn't shine anymore? Hmm. Yes, I remember Conroy telling me that the Foss Foss there had been stolen from the tower. Not stolen. Freed. Oh. oh okay, this kid is a menace. I don't know what's wrong with this kid, but he needs to get locked up. Wouldn't it be easier to have another pet? Like a tiny, soft, tumble mouse? I used to have many tumble mice. But they always flew around all over the place. Oh, so they were blown away from you? They wanted to escape, but I stopped them. I see. And how did you do that? I stapled them to the ground. Oh. So they stayed. Oh. Yes, I also used to have two spindle pillars. They always wanted to crawl away, too. Aha. Uh -huh. So I stapled them. Oh. I also had a wooloof. Oh, no. But it didn't want to stay, either. Please, don't continue. Yes, Mom told me to keep my hands off the animals. Yes. And off staples. Jesus. Okay, this kid needs to get arrested. 
Nowadays, phosphos are rare animals. I know. That's why it was so hard to get this one here. Have you ever thought about adopting any pet other than a phosphos? Like what? Well, maybe one that's, um, a little more durable. Like a brick. Hmm. <laughs> oh, what a nice pot. Did you just call it a pot? This helmet saved my life a million times. Like, like when I had to fight the root trolls. Uh-huh. How did you do that? Fire? Are you talking about that big fire two years ago? Otherwise, the root trolls would have destroyed all of Esposia. And the big flood extinguished the fire. You did that as well? If the question implies that I saved everybody's lives, the answer would be... Yes! Yeah, this kid is a menace. It's good that you have such a wild imagination. But don't you think your mum noticed her pot is missing? It's a helmet! It's made of steel aluminium! I still remember how I fought off the legendary Gorf army and how the Gorfs returned to the root forest. Does your mum know you're playing here all by yourself? Yeah, and she said if I wanted to, I'm even allowed to spend the night outside. That's, um, understandable. <laughs> Is the pot, um, helmet bulletproofed? Unfortunately not. I tested it. How? I'm not allowed to talk about it until the trial. Um... Yeah, this kid needs to get arrested now. What is the Bazillion's treasure? The Bazillion's treasure is so secret that nobody knows what it looks like. But it's most likely in a treasure chest. And what did the Bazillions put into the chest? Their eyes. Oh, yuck. What would you do with them? I don't know. I guess I will try to break them. So, you're looking for the Bazillion's eyes? Yes! How many times do I have to tell you? If I'd had these stones, I could have turned Esposia's enemies into rock! Who are Esposia's enemies? Ha! It could potentially be anybody. Absolutely anyone. Well, that's it. Enjoy your game. What game? Okay. Mm-hmm. The staggering phosphos. Why is it staggering? It's too high. Besides, I don't need a huge sign right now. That guy's trying to escape, but he can't. A phosphos. They give off light and warmth. They don't eat, produce noise, or exhaust fumes. Practical, but they need wind in order to glow. No, the cage is securely locked. Someone seems to think that the phosphos could get stolen. I would just borrow it for a minute. Hmm. Let's see what's in there. A pillow? Half a glass of pickles? And a few nails. I wish I had such a nice room in the palace. But Conroy says wealth spoils character. What am I supposed to do with it? In order to break it, there'd have to be a pane of glass there. Let's go in the bar. Hmm. He seems to come here frequently. Hello? He's smiling in his sleep. Hmm. He seems to be happy. Sweetheart, he's wasted. Oh. Another sinner that the Bazillions have turned into stone. I wonder what he's done. No, I think the poor guy has suffered enough. What does it say? Content absolutely lethal. Serve with a slice of lemon and a cocktail umbrella. <laughs> okay. No, I won't drink anything with a skull on the label. 
I've made that mistake before. You know, for somebody that's been trapped in the palace, you sure have lived a life. Ugh. All right. Wow, a real wind monk. What an honor. What is he doing? If I didn't know better, I'd say he's gambling and drinking alcohol. Come on, come on. Oh, damn. Hello. Wow, you're Malleus, the wind monk of the valleys. Now, what the? Brazilians, are you there? No, I'm afraid not. It's only me, Robert. I'm so glad to meet you personally. Okay. Is there a reason why you're disturbing me? Have you seen a girl with a pigeon? No. Are you talking about Laura? Yes, she visits me in the bar from time to time and brings me some root tea. Nice girl. Always realizes when she's disturbing. She stole from Conroy. That's an outrageous accusation. The poor thing has strayed from the right path. If she left the path, where can I find her? Rarely have I met such a non-spiritual root head like you. Non-spiri... what? Ah, forget it. Does that mean you know where she is? I just told you that she's left the right path. I don't know where she went. What are you doing? I'm... uh... meditating. Looks like a lot of fun. Fun? If this was fun, it wouldn't have anything to do with religion. But what? I'm, um, uh, looking for inspiration. From a slot machine? Well, yes. Yes, well, until the inspiration finds me, it can't hurt to use the time practically. Right. That makes sense. Somehow. But what does gambling have in common with inspiration? There are many ways of meditating. Just believe me, it will calm the Basilians. But Conroy is calming them. With meditation and discipline, I will... Are you still there? Yes. Where did I leave off? Oh, yes, I will wear this robe with dignity again. Bro, oh, damn it! That was all my money. Well, one last round. Does Conroy know what you're doing here? Well, not exactly. It, um, would be nice if it stays that way, if you know what I mean. What should stay what way? Exactly. What? That's the spirit. What spirit? We understand each other. Understand what? Good. <laughs> What's good? So how does that work with the inspiration? Your little brain wouldn't grasp it anyway. Yes, high score. All the way, another beer. But why do you believe that your gambling and beer drinking will calm the Basilians? The Basilians are puzzling. Now go away and let me drink. Ah, uh, meditate. I could ask Conroy if he would help. No, thanks. I don't want to waste his time. Conroy is busy calming the Basilians. Yes, they become enraged pretty quickly. If I would have known how hot-tempered they are, I would have chosen another job, believe me. Aren't you afraid that the Basilians will turn you into stone? If they do, it probably means that I deserve it. I'm sure that it wasn't only your fault with the Basilians. Of course it was my fault. I'm only waiting to find out what I've done wrong. Hmm. Good. I I'll go now. One moment, one moment, only one more game.
Oh, that monk has really let himself go. There's a thread hanging from his robe. That would never happen to Conroy. Hmm, the chair seems to be rusted. How long has the monk been sitting here? What's going on? Nothing. Hmm. That swivel chair has seen better days. It's completely rusted up. There are a lot of colored balls in there. I get the feeling that they're looking at me. That's weird. I need to insert a coin. Seems like he's here often. No, I'll leave him alone to... whatever he's doing. That is by far the ugliest canary I've ever seen. Dog. Cat. What game is this? Oh, honey. Hey there, little guy. Can I pet you? He seems to be busy. What's in there? Strange juice. <laughs> wow, that's the barmaid. She's really pretty. It's fascinating what time can do to a woman. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That must be the barmaid. I've never seen such a female asposion before. Actually, I've never seen any female asposion in the monastery. Hello. Are you the head of this establishment? I have no idea, sweetie. But I'm the owner of this bar. How about a jaw shatterer? A what? It's a liqueur. The specialty of the house. Thanks, but I'd rather not. Maybe a headcracker then? Or a lava streamer? All of that sounds rather violent. Violent? You probably mean easily flammable, sweetie. You look like you could use some more hair on your chest. Thank you so much. I will drink it later if I intend to uh, kill myself. <laughs> Have you seen a girl with a pigeon? Her name's Laura. Oh, sweetie, I meet a ton of people here. Why are you looking for her? She has something that belongs to me. I can imagine that. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I can't help you with that. Oh, a small wooloo. Yes, isn't he cute? I got him after my last husband left. He eats and sleeps the whole day, just like my husband used to. You can barely tell the difference between them. Your husband? Where did he go? He wanted to run away, but he didn't get far. What do you mean? He's right there. You can recognize him by his long nose and the coat hanger. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, he hasn't been the same since he got turned to stone. The man at the slot machine is a wind monk. Can you believe that? He's one of the great three. Him? That old pincer is a regular here. If you ask me, he's more of a great loser. But don't you feel honored that a real wind monk comes to your bar? As if I would need that. A monk in my bar. I was wondering why the Basilians haven't been in here yet. Should they? Are you a sinner? You know, sweetie, back in the day, men worshipped me. Believe it or not. Okay, then I don't believe it. Huh? Is he really in here gambling every day? Oh, when that old moron lost his wind fountain, he became a gambler. You could never get him straightened out again. I'd bet my garter on that. What's a garter? 
believe me, sweetie. If you get to see one, you're not going to be interested in what it's called. Why not? Oh, forget it. You'll figure it out. Figure what out? Tip. Maybe you won't. Bye. Take care, sweetie. Why should I do that? That won't work. Hmm. Why did I do that? I can't do that. No, no. Let's see how that works. You insert money and pull the lever. And then again. And again. No, it's being used. And besides, I can't waste my time with gambling. I have to. Hmm, that's fine, Lol. Yep. It doesn't look very stable. Whoever lives here doesn't own anything worth locking away. This door belongs to someone. I think it'd be rude to take it with me. Oh my gosh, are those arms hanging out of the window? I hope the person belonging to those arms is still attached to them. Hello up there. Can you hear me? Who's there? Friend? Enemy? Fan? I believe... Uh, friend? Oh, how nice to welcome a visitor. Why are you in prison? Oh, that's a long story. I used to be one of Asposia's tailors, but the Wind Gods found my robes to be too... provocative. They attacked the city, and Conroy captured me for my own safety. Against my will. Hmm. Actually, the story's not that long. You have to be Asposia's best tailor. Oh, I'm only a small stitch in the unending scarf of history. So, you're a tailor? Oh, young friend, it's a lot more than a job. It's a calling. The needles are mental extensions of my arms. You have to become one with the fabric. The material has to flow through you. So, you're a tailor? Yes. Yes. You can't imagine how much I miss knitting. How come you're a tailor? With those arms, you look like you could chuck an anvil. Oh, you sound like my dear parents. They always wanted me to become a bouncer. But I discovered my love for yarn early on. I used to crochet in secret, under my blanket. From there, it was only a matter of time until I worked with harder fabrics. At the age of 14, I started working with pillow lace. What could I say? My dad found out about my secret crocheting and threw me out. I spent several years on the street before a rich wool magnet picked me up. That's fascinating. Oh, I was a seamster like everybody else. The wool magnet discovered my talent and presented me to the right people, and well, my career started. Wow, it's great how far you've come. Yes, and now I'm here. You must have seen a lot of things as a, a tailor. Oh, yes, I remember the big fashion shows, the stunning robes, the patterns. I was a trendsetter. I was an icon. All that's in here are rags and different shades of gray. Hideous. If you miss knitting that much, I can help you. Yes. Can you get me out of here? Oh, God, I've been waiting years for this moment. Hmm. Actually... I was hoping you could knit something for me. I mean, if you miss it that much, and all. 
Oh, yes, sure, that's also very... Mm, mm. What do you want me to knit for you? A onesie. Well, only if you want to. Oh, and then you get me out of here? I know. Conroy brought me here for my own safety. But I'd rather be turned into stone than spend another day in this cell. Well, I guess I can see what I can do. Great, okay. Well, then I need a knitting pattern, needles, and, um, mm, what fabric are we looking for? Straw bear yarn would be best. Okay, well, I'm familiar with that. I used to have straw bear yarn when I was, well, free. But, but I really can't promise you anything. That's okay. This is the most hope I've had in years. That's, uh, um, really tragic. But back to the onesie. Feel free to ask whatever it is you want to know. That is actually tragic. I know where to get the yarn and the pattern. Do you really require needles to knit? Yes, call me old fashioned, but I can't knit without needles. Where are your needles? Oh, I have no idea. Knitting is a passion, do you understand? When the passion of knitting takes over, things can get lost. The onesie should be made from straw bear yarn. Oh, oh, I remember that material well. I designed the three wind monks' fashionable robes. They were made from finest straw bear yarn. The material is extremely rare and very expensive. The baby insists on it. <laughs> I guess I'll have to come up with something else. Yep. Where can I get straw bear yarn? It's the holy material. Only the wind monk's robes are allowed to be made from it. Where can I get a knitting pattern? Think of something. I suggest something to you. You take your time and get the pattern and I will... wait here. Where can I get such a knitting pattern? There used to be a knitting pattern store on Storm Avenue, but uh, it closed down. Well, that doesn't help me. Well, come up with something. Hmm. Oh, yes. About the onesie. Yes, it will turn out fabulous. Unfortunately, I still don't have everything we need for it. Ask me anything you want. Okay, so I guess we get the materials. Okay, I'm I'm going now. Oh. Okay, I'll stay here. Yes. So I know where they get the padded. I know where they get the yarn, but I do not know where they get the knitting needles. A sino mat, the practical solution for sinners on the go. Confession and penance in less than one minute. Tell me your sin. What should I confess? Confess your sins. But I didn't do anything wrong. Tell me your sin. You're not listening to me. Sacrifice a man to the Basilians. But I didn't do anything. Sacrifice a mint to the Basilians. Hmm. Let me think. I think I got on people's nerves with all kinds of questions. Realize the weight of your guilt. The Basilians' judgment. Slap yourself and suffer. What? I took things even though they weren't mine. Realize the weight of your guilt. The Basilian's judgment says, call yourself an unworthy worm and suffer. Oh, that's also what Conroy used to call me. I always have to comment on everything. Realize the weight of your guilt. 
The Bazillion's judgment says, tape your mouth shut for one week and suffer. Okay, I will do that. Next week, though. I guess I'll be going. Tell me your sin. No, I really wanted to. Tell me your sin. I'll just go now. Tell me your sin. I can't open. Yeah, I should have grabbed the mint. Oh well. The Grand Fountain Guard, Asposia's elite, is having a coffee break. Hello? Guard number 822 reporting for duty. Oh, it's just me, Robert. I wanted to ask you something. I hope it's important because I'm about to have breakfast. What kind of machine is that over there? Don't you know? That's the Cinomat. You don't seem to be the sharpest knife in the drawer. What does a Cinomat do? Nothing. You have to confess all your sins to it. What did I do? Probably something. Nobody can walk around without making the Basilians furious. What exactly is the Sinomart's needle for? It shows the weight of your sin. Talking to a guard during a shift, for example, is a pretty serious violation. Really? Yes. If someone falls into the fountain just now, it would be your fault. You have a great view here. Yes, thank you. If the weather is nice, I could even see Upper Esposia. Sometimes I think to myself, what if there is a guard standing there as well, thinking that his side is up and my side is down, even though it's actually the other way around? You've probably thought about this for a long time. No, it just now crossed my mind. Aren't you afraid that the Basilians will turn you into stone? Why would they turn me into stone? Well, you're standing directly next to the fountain. You're probably going to be their first victim. Hmm. Actually, I've only been here since yesterday. Thanks for the advice. What are you going to do if the Bazillions attack you? Oh, I'm not worried about that. I've read all of Conroy's instructions. I also know a good trick that my predecessor taught me. What kind of trick? Run away. If a bazillion comes, I'll close my eyes. That's clever. What are you doing here? I'm on guard. I see. What are you guarding? What am I guarding? What a question. Of course I'm guarding uh, the small house here. And uh, uh, the prisoners down there. And, uh, the fountain, of course. I'm a fountain guard as well. What are you protecting the fountain from? It's a personal order from Conroy. I have to guard the fountain. Yes, you just said that. Um, protect it from what? <laughs> I guard the fountain. By the way, falling into the fountain is prohibited. Uh, has anyone fallen into it before? I can't imagine that. So you're sitting here all day long? No. Sometimes I'm also standing over there. What do you do if the Bazillions come out of the fountain? Then I officially acknowledge it. And then? Then what? Does Conroy know... Conroy? Where? Is he here? He's not here, is he? Uh, no. No, he's not here. But I have a question. I'm not officially authorized to receive questions. Does that mean I'm not even allowed to ask you any questions? But if I just ask you something and you react to it, like a few moments ago, then I've asked you something, although I'm not allowed to. And that's another question again. That's 
Maybe your opinion. <laughs> Did Conroy give you the order to... Conroy? Where? So you're sitting here all day long? No. Sometimes I'm also... So, you're Conroy's official guard? Yes. Trained to protect Asposia's inhabitants. How? I send them to prison so the Basilians can't get to them. Have a good day. I will. May the Basilians be with you. Thank you. And with you as well. Hmm. The drawer is locked. I can't... A sin, confession and penance. Tell me your sin. But I didn't do anything. Sacrifice a mint to the Basilians. I guess I'll be going. Tell me your sin. No. Tell me. I... Tell me. A sin confession. Tell me. Can I get but a bit? Do... Sacrifice. I guess. Tell. No. Tell me. I... Tell me. Any mints? I don't I need another one. Okay. Tell me. I blabbered endlessly to the guard. Realize the weight of your guilt. The Basilian's judgment says, eat a handful of dust and suffer. Oh, I won't do that. I guess I'll be... Tell me... T t I can't reach it. The indicator has moved a little more. That will never work. Time for drastic measures. But what? Well, I could. Hmm. I don't think that will work. Why should I do that? Hmm. Can I get in here? A phosphorus. There are only a few of them left. I better leave it alone. It looks so peaceful. Conroy's Daily Tips, number 2445. Prudent behavior in case of a bazillion attack. Or, turned into stone, what now? Oh, I already know it all by heart. One's enough. Conroy's Practical Tips and Advice in case... Of a Virginia. Asposia's good shepherd. The name was Conroy's idea. Too big, too heavy, too angular. Hmm. One of Conroy's instructional leaflets turned into stone. What now? Conroy suggests stay calm and wait for help. Makes sense. Conroy is such a smart ruler. So the needle, okay, I got everything, but I need to grab it. I don't need that. <sighs> Do you want this? Well, I could, but I. Got a mint. I don't think that will work. I don't think that... Oh, a walking stick. It's made of stone. Hmm. No wonder the old Esposian couldn't escape. I'd better take it before someone steals it. Hmm. I can't do that. I don't think... Hi, Data. Can I ask you another question? Tell me your name! But we've just... 
That's what everybody says. Well, that's it. What? Ooh. Hmm. I can't do it. Let's see what's in there. A pillow, half a glass of pickles, and a few nails. I wish I had such a nice room. But Conroy said... What am I supposed to do with it? In order to break it, there'd have to be a pane of glass there. Pane of glass? This door belongs... I think it'd be rude to take it. <sighs> you again. Do you have the onesie? Not yet. Uh, then I don't know where the girl is. Hmm. Well then. So now I got a walking stick. Basilian attack! All as potions take cover! Oh, please no. Basilian, please don't hurt me. I'm a good ass potion. Quiet. They can smell fear. End of Bazillion attack! Oh my gosh! Until now, I just saw the attacks of the gods in safe distance from the balcony. Hmm. No, now is no time to fool around. Tell me your... I blabbered endless. Realize the bazillion eat a hand. Oh. I... Tell... No. Tell me. I'll... Tell... Hmm. I don't think that will work. I can't do... That's just a... Will that work? I think so. Very interesting needle. What exactly is this? Uh... It looks exactly like a walking stick. Yes, funny, isn't it? <laughs> as long as you can work with it. If that were a walking stick, some crippled Asposian wouldn't be able to get around anymore without it. The important question right now is if you can knit with it. I just mean, it really looks exactly like a walking stick. It's a needle. Okay, it will definitely serve the purpose. <laughs> We're still missing something for the onesie. I'm trying my best. Mm -hmm. No, now is... Why should I do that? Well, I... That's just a rant. This mint has the shape of a coin. Hey, there's no bubble gum in here. These are marbles. Too bad. Marbles don't taste half as good as bubble gum, and they give you toothache. Maybe give the marbles to the kid? Hey, you're on a treasure hunt, right? Look what I found. But, but... Real treasure belongs in a chest. I want real treasure, not just some stupid marbles. So I need to make a chest out of it, okay? Hmm. I don't think that's just a no, no. No, now is... Maybe I'll talk to her again. Hello again. Sweetie, I knew you'd come back. 
How can Audley help you? Do you know anything about the machine at the Wind Fountain Square? Yes, I know of it. I stay away from it, and it stays away from me. Why? How can I explain this to you? Listen, sweetie. At a certain point, you start to turn a blind eye to things. What do you mean? I mean, I did things that you never could imagine. Not even in your wildest dreams. You've probably seen a lot of interesting things. Oh, you bet. I used to do things. Bad things. How bad? Talking about it alone would be reason enough to turn me into stone. That bad? Well, I found them rather amusing. But the bazillions have a different take on the matter. Do I want to know? <laughs> Believe me, you want to. I can't imagine something that bad. Oh, no? Well, then, let me help you out. He said... But his wife found out about it. Oh my god, and you wouldn't have believed it. <laughs> and then we said, that dog, that bastard. <laughs> but his cousin didn't have a clue. And then she came over. And then it was, I mean, the dogs. <laughs> really? And that's how I became the head of the book club. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> what was your last sin? Oh, funny you're asking about it. So, then he came over, took off my barber. Give me a second, zombie. Carters. But that's. You wouldn't believe. <laughs> and then over there. But there are laws against that. For a reason. So you realize it was immoral? Oh, yes. It was one of the best things I've ever done. Your honest force, talk to your best sins. Think, hey, now, a person, the dark sins look at me. If it wasn't for, for uh, the white walls, you always blend in. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not really white walls. It's more like that off yellow. Oh, actually, I think it actually is yellow. I mean, white. Yeah, I think it's actually white. I don't know. It's kind of like that off white, though. I, w I didn't make it white, but I feel like this is better. Gets more into the mood. Is it a sin if I like a girl, although she's a wanted criminal? Oh no. Most men love danger. It would be a sin if you... And then offer Climb on. But I think she would even like it. I think I want to go back to the monastery. <laughs> um... I would prefer to talk about something else. Bye. Take care, sweetie. And by the way, zombie, I got a new chair yesterday. It's actually really nice, but it costs a bit. The chair was not uh, cheap, but definitely worth it over my old one. Yeah, this one costs, uh, 420. Expensive chair. Tell me your sin. <sighs> okay, well... At least I don't have back palms anymore, really. Realize the weight. Wait a minute. 
You did what? <laughs> I had the same look on my face when Ottilie told me her sins. <laughs> I broke the machine. What should I do with all these mints? The indicator's missing, but I know who's got it. Hey, I broke the m machine. I can try, but... That's my lunchbox. I know. I just wanted to... You can't have it. Yes, I just... My lunchbox, not yours. Fine. I apologize. How about we trade it, eh? That's just a random guess, isn't it? Hmm. You want this? Here. Can you use this as a knitting needle? Well, I will be able to use it. May I ask where you got it from? No. From the Sino mat. Interesting. How did you come up with that? Oh, there was this lady behind the bar. Ah, uh, you're talking about Ottilie? <sighs> She's a babe. I'm afraid you've been imprisoned for far too long. We're still missing something for the onesie. I'm trying my best. Hmm. Hello, guard number 822. Hello, citizen number 357. Hey, the Sino Mart is broken. Oh, damn. Uh, did you, uh, uh, by any chance, see who it was? It was a guy. A, a giant of an explosion. Pretty handsome, too. Oh, uh, would you let me know if you see him again? Have a good day. I will. May the bazillions be with you. Thank you. And with you as well. Mm -hmm. That won't work. Why should I do that? Hmm. He who works without a moan. <laughs> Always at your service, Abbot Conroy. It could always come in handy. Look at that. Now I got miles for the kid. You're on a treasure hunt, right? Look what I found. Oh boy, oh boy, the bazillion's eyes! Real treasure! Can I have the treasure map now? Sure, I don't need that old knitting pattern anymore. There we go. Hmm. I don't need another one. No, no. No, no. Hmm, now we just have to work out the monk. That's just a ra hmm. The knitting pattern. Excellent. Oh, I see. That one's going to be one fashionable onesie. We're still missing something for the onesie. I'm trying my best. I can't do that. That's just a ran. That's just a. <sighs> the cork came out. That's just a random guess, isn't it? 
Why should I do that? I will keep it for a special occasion, or if I ever want to set something on fire. The sight of it calms me. Hmm, so I can take the cork in and out, but why would I want to do that? I don't think that... <laughs> Go to the baby. I don't... Th why should I do... Hmm. That's... There's only one place left, and that's the monk. Hmm, what do I do here? Hmm, the chair seems to be rusted. How long has the monk been... What is going... Nothing. I can't do that. Hmm. No, no. No, I think the poor guy has suffered. Hmm. Kind of stumped to you. That could be fun. What's in there? Oh, no. It smells like it could burst into flames at any moment. I don't think that... I don't think... Maybe he wants my random junk. I don't want... Hell... Ah, you again. What? You already took my self-esteem? Did you recognize the girl who just stole that pigeon from me? Hmm, maybe I know something. If I had a few aspens, I could tell you more about it. I guess I don't have any of those. Great, then I guess I just have to tell you. So it's rumored that she's an outlaw, and the professed enemy of Conroy, the Great Wind Guardian. Conroy's enemy? Why would anyone not like Conroy? I have no idea. As long as he keeps the basilians of my back, he gets 20% of everything in my store. Again, concerning the girl... All further information costs extra now. What information? Well, Conroy has a bounty on the girl's head. Thank you. Damn, how are you doing this? <laughs> well... Okay. Give me a second, I'll probably pick up this fish with this. I'll wrap the fish in paper. There we go. I don't think that will... What am I supposed to do with that garbage? Hell... Ah, you again. What else do you want? You already took my self-esteem? Look at the garbage. Again, concerning the garbage, well... Stop begging. I won't give you any more for free. That's a no. Again? Well... Okay. You want this? What am I supposed? What am I? Oh no, thank you. I have my own. It's hanging right there. Where did it go? Well, I have to go now anyway. Hmm. I can't read. That could be fun. 
I live a fish, but that doesn't help me, does it? Hmm. No, now is no. That won't work. That could be. F the cork came up. Well, I could. That could be fun. You again. Do you have the onesie? Not yet. Then... Mm. Well then. Mm. So now I have a fish, but what the bug is am I supposed to do with all this? Yeah. It's me again, Robert. You say that like it's a good thing. You're still wearing the robe made from original strawberry yarn. Excuse me, I'm still one of the three great wind monks. You can take my fountain, you can take my destiny, but you can't take my holy garb. Can I have it? If what? No, of course you can't have it. What exactly has happened to your wind fountain? One day, in fact, I remember as if it were yesterday, it suddenly stopped blowing. But why? If only I knew. I assume the Brazilians wanted to punish me. But you're one of the three great wind monks. The time of the great three has long since vanished. Together with the wind, one of us is missing, one is raining, and the other one wants another beer. Utterly, are you ignoring me on purpose? I'm just ignoring your jabbering, since it's impossible to ignore your smell. Me. What are you doing in this drinking hole here? You used to be one of my heroes. You were What's the up? monk of the valleys. Yes. Ah, back in the day, those good old times. The hills and the valleys belong to my fountain. Wide open spaces. The wind blowing, never standing still. Sounds great. It wasn't great. It was awe-inspiring. Oh, I miss my valleys. I'm sorry, um, it sounds very awe-inspiring. Thank you. To me, you're still the wind monk of the valleys. How nice of you to say that. Audley only calls me the wind bag of the root beer. Ah. Huh. Yes. One time she even called me a whoopee cushion. Where can I find strawberry yarn? Unless you're an ordained priest of the Holy Wind Order, I don't know. And how do I become one of those? Well, first you have to live an ascetic life and pray for at least one decade. And then you have to reassure the Basilians of your unworthiness. If by that time they have not punished you and are still ignoring you, it's a good sign. Which means? It means forget it. Where can I get this yarn? You can't get it anywhere, because you're not worthy of wearing it. I really need that yarn. It's urgent. You're still disturbing my camp. Uh, meditating. He may go away now. Who? You. Go away. Good. I I'll go now. One moment, one moment, only one more game. That's just a random... I don't think that will work. Well... Hello again. Sweetie, I knew you'd come back. How can Audley help you? How come you haven't been turned into stone yet? Oh, you know, when I was a young girl, I used to know Conroy personally. Well, I think I could convince him to put in a good word for me with the Bazillions. How did he do that? I can't tell you. Huh? 
Yes, I even had to sign some paper. Um, I would prefer to talk about something else. Bye. Take care, sweetie. That won't work. Why should I do that? Fish oil as lubricant. <laughs> Brilliant idea. Hang on, old man. Oh, Malleus, if I'd have known what you're hiding under that robe. What then, Audley? I may have let you in on a special offer. Is it true what they say about you guys? Uh, it depends. What do they say? Well, they say that you've never had a woman. And that given the chance, you take practically anything and everything you can get. That's true. Okay. Well, I just made two people happy, didn't I? Here I found real strawberry yarn. My goodness, I would never have imagined that I would ever use this fabric again. It's very kind of you to let me assist in all of this. Yes, mm. I'm always glad to help. I can see I have an idealist before me. Now I have everything I need for the onesie. There you go. A onesie made from straw bear yarn. Hmm. Great. Thank you so much. The baby will be happy. No problem. Oh, only just imagining the tiny thing kicking around in it warms my heart. Yes, thank you. You helped me a lot. Could you get me a baby? What? Why? I'm so lonely here. How about a dog? No, I sure won't. A potted plant? I'll go now. You want an echo? I can't do that. Well, I could. No, now it's... Here, I did it. A onesie made from real straw bear yarn. Little Conroy will stay warm from now on. My goodness, that was a joke. You really knitted a onesie made from straw bear yarn? I can't believe it. If I would have said gold, would you have gotten gold for me? Probably. Damn, I should have said gold. But the baby insisted on it. It's a baby. It can't tell its toe from its nose. Uh, where can I find Laura? The Mikata is down the street. Try it there. Try? I thought you knew for sure where I... Hey, how could I know that you would really bring me strawberry yarn? She'll be there. You better get looking before she leaves again. Okay, uh, thank you. At the Mikata. I should have said the baby needs a house. I should have said house. <laughs> Wow, how nice. This is the art place, and... Oh, I think the play's starting. This is Little Finnis. Together with his parents, he was living a modest and happy life. Every day they went to a wind fountain in order to appease the gods with a small offering. But one day, Finnis's parents decided that they couldn't spare the offerings anymore. The Wind Gods didn't appreciate that at all. Well, little Finnus, obviously seeing you grow up, wasn't that important to your parents. In order for Finnus to avoid meeting the same fate as his parents, he has to listen to Conroy. 
the wisest of the Asposians, has plenty of sound advice on how to stay on the wind god's good side. Praying every day helps. The Basilians like it when their people are living a modest life, void of demands. And don't forget the small offering. Do what Finnus does. Live the way that pleases the gods. And when in doubt, ask yourself, what would Conroy do? Wow, that was exciting. Wait a minute. There are feathers on the stage. Feathers. This can only mean either the pigeon thief is here somewhere, or someone is wearing a pigeon feather boa and tripped. Probably over these cracks in the ground. Hmm. I already have a feather. Guess we go to the maintenance area. I guess we play around this. Select the scene with the level and change the set of the scene as well. Okay. Right, well, what was that? Oh. What am I supposed to do here? I'm supposed to just recreate the scenes. sure what I'm supposed to do here. Somehow that's a scary picture. No, I, I don't have a ticket.
I already have a feather. Feathers. Very misty. Mis most... Hmm. Puzzling. They're probably from that thieving pigeon. The cracks on the floor look like a door. I can't get the trap door open. Hmm. Hmm. There's a pan in here. I'm missing something here. There must be a clue somewhere. A balcony? Only the most influential Asposians are allowed to sit up there. Seems like a homeless person is living there now. I better let him sleep. Hmm. A feather. 
feather from that thieving pigeon. What should I use it for? There's a door in the control desk. Hmm, the compartment is empty. Ah, oh, there it is. Six, four, seven, four. <laughs> so... That makes kind of sense. Ah, it tells the play's plot. It says hands will be down, right? Maybe that means he's... he's the thing said dead. So maybe no... Convoy? So, dragon dead happy. Definitely says the shining background. Hmm, I wonder what that means. I can't do anything with that. I have no idea. So I try to work this out. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, I did say thumbs down, though. Ah. Uh -huh. I think I glitched the game out. Wow. Yep, the game's glitched. Okay. Wow. Yep, I actually glitched the game out. I I can't do anything. And I, yep, the game is fully glitched now. <sighs> don't know how I keep doing this, but somehow I keep glitching games out. I don't think anybody else has ever glitched this game out like I did. <sighs> Honestly, I think this is a good stopping off point. Yeah. What if anybody else has ever glitched it out? Like, I like to keep playing, but as soon as the game glitched out, I'm kind of not in the mood anymore. I'm probably just going to watch some YouTube at this point. Hmm. Maybe if I... Hmm. Uh, it still says it's ready. I don't know. <sighs> Leave it up to me to hey zombie to glitch the game out. I seem like to have a gift for that. Have a gift to glitching out games. Don't think it's a good glitch or gift, I mean. Hmm. You didn't use any help system at all. Congratulations, you consider yourself an adventurous player now. Find the uh, quest for the silver. Yeah. Uh, let's see. For, sorry, I'm just looking at this waterfall. A uh, free from the tree fell down the great Okay. Well, I couldn't get through chapter one. <laughs> and zombies slapping my butt. Okay, okay, I'm leaving. Well, zombies slapping my butt, so on that note, thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye, zombie.